What's going on guys, Logan here for a new video and today I'm going to be talking about something that not a whole bunch of people know about me, even my customers here at work, they don't know about it unless I tell them and it is that I'm deaf. Now when I tell people I'm deaf, a lot of people are shocked and they give me this weird look like, you know, you can hear me? And that's because I'm not 100% deaf in both my ears. I'm only 100% deaf in my right ear and that's because of an accident I had my senior year of high school. So that means that all the sound around me always comes in through my left ear. It sounds like everything is coming from my left side. Like actually one time I was at work at a golf course one time when I was like 18 after the whole ear accident and everything. But I worked at this golf course where every morning we have to change these water coolers and we have to get there at like 4.45 in the morning before any golfers get there so that the golfers will have water and we can cut grass, you know, spin the bunkers, all that kind of stuff. Well, I was changing the water one day and as I was driving, there was a train that actually passed on my right side and I almost freaked out because, you know, it, it seemed like it came out of nowhere. It wasn't blowing its train horn or anything and all of a sudden I just hear like this train on my left side, which is, you know, an empty golf course over here. You know, I'm, I'm almost a freak out, you know, then I realize, oh, it's over here, but you know, it's pitch black outside and I hear this train going by on my left side, you know, an open golf course and it's just a weird sensation. All the time people come up to me at like, car shows and stuff, you know, it's all loud outside, you know, they yell in my right ear so they can hear me or so I can hear them and you know I have to tell them you know oh no I'm I, what'd you say again but how it actually happened so that y'all don't make the same mistake I did it was my senior year of high school it was September 11th 2012 I was getting ready for school that morning and my girlfriend at the time she would come over to my house because she didn't live too far away and we would drive to school together but I was getting ready for school that morning and I was brushing my teeth I was doing my hair you know getting dressed and everything I was cleaning my ears with a q-tip and as I was cleaning my ears with a q-tip my girlfriend at the time she came up from behind me and she she said that she meant to grab it and twirl it a little bit. Well, instead of grabbing it and twirling it, she hit it in. Well, as you can assume, it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. The Q-tip went through my eardrum. It hit my cochlea, which is, I believe, your auditory organ, pretty much. And all the fluid that's in my cochlea drained out, which left me deaf. And on top of that, whenever I got to the emergency room, the doctor there, he gave my parents these eardrops to put in my ear. These eardrops would supposedly, you know, clean all the bacteria and stuff out of my ear and allow for no infections to get in there. Well, as my parents would be putting these eardrops in that would supposedly clean my ear, it was, honestly, it was right there. It was like the same exact pain of having that q-tip shoved in it was that same pain over and over again well after two or three times of doing this my mom she was just saying that you know he shouldn't be in pain this much just from eardrops she read the back of the bottle it said if you have an ear perforation do not use which I had an ear perforation so we stopped using those eardrops immediately and all I could do is you know just hug the toilet for like three or four days because I had really really bad vertigo you know everything was tilting to the side then turning back and it was just a horrible experience for like I'd say three or four weeks I was very off balance I couldn't drive my car for three or four weeks especially at nighttime but it was just a whole horrible experience and even now all I hear is this really really loud ringing noise which y'all hear now I have heard that noise non-stop for nearly six years now, so it's horrible, but I mean, most of the time I just don't even pay attention to it, but I've heard that noise. I haven't heard silence for six years. My girlfriend at the time, yes, she felt horrible for it. Um, obviously, me and her aren't dating anymore, but I didn't sue her anything because I know that, you know, that could really cause financial problems for her and her family, so I didn't sue. She genuinely did feel bad afterwards, which is why I didn't take any like, kind of legal action or anything, because if you think about it, you know, your hearing, that's a large part of your life, and I don't have hearing from one side. That's going to affect my daily life all the way from, you know, ordering at a restaurant to, you know, work to, you know, I couldn't even be in the military, you know, because that's what I was going to do. I was planning to go to the Air Force and... I'm disqualified from everything. I'm disqualified from the Marines, Army, I mean, any kind of military service, even the National Guard, disqualified. But all I can do is adapt and, you know, change my career path, which I eventually did, which now I'm going for engineering, which is not a bad field to be in. You know, it pays good. I'm decent in math, and I feel like I'm going to be interested in that, so that's what I'm going for. Now, that whole situation sucks and everything, but if y'all can take anything away from this, it's that you are not supposed to use Q-tips on the inside of your ear. You're only supposed to use Q-tips on the outside of your ear and on, like, the inside, like, you know, just, like, here on the inside, not your actual ear canal. But what even inspired me to make this video was I had a customer last week, she came in, and I was signing her up for the GNC loyalty program, and as I was, you know, getting all our information and everything, I had to, I mean, there was a little bit of background noise, there was another customer in the store. Well, as I was signing her up, I had to ask her to repeat her last name three times, and on that third time, I kind of tell she was being annoyed, but she had a really long, you know, complicated last name, and, you know, I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, you know, I'm deaf in one ear, you know, you're on my bad side. And she immediately said, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so sorry. She said she had no idea that I was deaf, and that she she actually had a cousin that was deaf and that she couldn't even tell I was deaf, which is awesome because I don't like getting special treatment from people. I am a human being, I'm an able-bodied human being, and I, don't, I just don't like special treatment from people. 
But it got me to thinking, and since I have a following on YouTube and Instagram, I figured I would let y'all know, you know, the dangers of Q-tips. And it's funny because I make the joke all the time, you know, how the Q-tips, you know, they're the real WMDs because, you know, they affected my life so much. And I've really learned to just joke about it because if I focus so much on, you know, that I'm deaf and that, oh my gosh, I've never heard silence, I would be a very depressed person. So all I can be is an optimistic person and look forward to the future. There is research going on right now with stem cell research that I am definitely interested in. And whenever they start human trials, I definitely want to get in on that because, you know, this ringing. I don't hear it whenever like it's like a normal day if I don't pay attention to it I don't hear it but whenever like right now this entire video I've heard this ringing because you know I'm co constantly thinking about the ring but whenever those trials start I'm definitely gonna try to get in on it because I am tired of this ringing but guys that will be it for today's video if you have any questions at all for me just put them down here in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as I can but I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it please subscribe as always have a great day